Welcome back, Joystick Dryad here to part 6 of Undertale, and we're actually closing in towards the end of this game here. And, uh, crazily enough, we're only on part 6. Um, I mean, I know this isn't the longest game in the world, and it helps that we're doing hour-ish long episodes, but, I mean, I don't know. It seems like we're going quickly, a little bit more quickly than I expected to at least. Apparently the elevator straight to the capital is broken. That's really helpful. Really, really helpful. Uh, room service. I don't have your CT, sorry. Um, and a janitor who can't seem to clean up his own mess. That's good. <laughs> this game is just pretty, I guess you could say, intriguing with its different odds and ends of things. Um, it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Awesome. Um, that heals 14. That heals 27. 14, 27, oh, okay. Um, heals 40. And bumps attack. Heals 60 HP. Don't ask, please. You know what? I think I've got an okay amount of healing right now. I think. Oh, how many how many healing items do I have? I've got a unicycle Cinnabon. Uh, oh, I don't have a lot actually. <laughs> but they're all so expensive. Um. No. You know what I'm gonna do? And I wonder if I can. I'm gonna try to go back a little bit in the game and go to Snowden and buy some healing there because I'm pretty sure it's cheaper. Hold up. Give me a second. Not gonna lie, I'm quite the fan of that, uh, little boat that takes you so easily from place to place. See, yeah, these are a lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. I'll buy one of these. Um, and then I guess we'll buy another bicycle. Because that leaves us with, what now? Like, five forms of healing in our inventory? That's one, two... 3 plus 2 is 5, yeah. Yeah, see? 60 gold for 14 HP healed. 120 for 27 HP healed. And we just bought, what, like f 22 HP healed for 40 gold? So, totally worth it going back to Snowden. I'm actually trying in this game. Look at me go. Huh, who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. I mean, I'm a little worried, not gonna lie, a little worried. Whatever, though, you know? It's whatever, though. Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. What, the elevator should be working? Well, then, go to the right and keep heading up. What if I want to go to the left? I'll listen, I'll listen. That's like a Stanley Parable moment. Alright, now just keep heading up. That pit. It's not on my map. Forget it, let's try the left side. I should have just tried that in the first place. Okay. Should be able to make it through here. Watch out. Ah, uh, magic. Clear mind. Uh, what if I talk to it? I don't like these attacks, they're actually kind of annoying to, uh... What's it called? Annoying to dodge. Why oh, there's so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We've just gotta keep heading forward. I mean, I guess. I don't know, man, I'm not the best at this game, as we proved last episode and basically every episode prior. Looks like you can't proceed to hit the switch, but those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in in order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it? Move until the third one. I got it. Oh, you son of a... You son of a fish. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a lie. Oh my god, are you okay? I... I'm sorry. I gave you the wrong order. Everything's fine, okay? 
Let's just keep heading to the right. Yeah, thanks for that. A crossroad, uh... Uh... Try heading to the right. I mean... What if I don't, though? God dang it, I should have listened. Uh, sing. What the frick is this? <laughs> Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not gonna lie, I'm not a fan. Oh, sorry. Just, no, stop. God dang it, I should have trusted him. <laughs> I feel really dumb now, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so you can't deactivate the lasers, that's awesome. Oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly... This isn't supposed to happen, neither is the background noise supposed to happen. Oh, oh how did I do that? Uh, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. I'm so sorry for the background noise. I was gonna cut it out, but I realized there was kind of no point because it was just the doorbell. Not like anything really, really bad in the background. Okay. I mean, come on, this is my second channel. It's not as professional. Wow, you don't know what way to tell me to go? Okay. Well, um, the air is filled with the smell of ozone. It fills me with determination. I'm gonna go left. Left seemed like a smart option. Okay, we get two shots. Beautiful. Congratulations! What's up here, though? Question mark. There's a glam burger inside the trash can. Will you take it? Yes. Oh, what does that... What does that do? Feels 27 HP. That was definitely worth taking. Not gonna lie. Shoot! Not what I needed! Final frog it and a whimsy cut. Oh, you son of a gun. I don't like this! Recognize, huh? I'm sorry for background noise. Da -da -da. Spare that final frog it. Move on with our life of love stuff. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Oh no. Oh no! No, I don't like. Gun. Oh, this is so not cool. This is so not cool. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I just need to keep singing to it. I need to keep singing to it. Sing the lullabies that I learned from my ancestors, and I'm gonna keep talking because background noise, and that's the only way I'm gonna be able to get rid of the background noise if I just talk. If I just talk a lot, the background noise will go away, right? Oh, nope. Nope. Nope, it won't. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Beautiful. Alright, hopefully the backer noise will eventually die. Okay. No, there's more. No. <laughs> there's three of them. Oh, I didn't do it. Didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I thought I could run away and then I accidentally clicked spare. I'm gonna die. Dang it. I'm gonna die and I'm gonna have to come back to this spot and 
cut out the game and... Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. I'm really trying. Okay, I'm cutting the video. And hopefully the background noise will die by the time I do that. Alright, so I, instead of going left, went right after I died. And I immediately found the, basically, end of the maze of pathways that that was. And I saved my game and apparently Metaton's here. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Oh yes, there you are, darling. It's time for our final showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not. Malfunction, reprogramming, get real. This is all just a big show. An act. Alphys has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She de desperately wanted to be a part of it. So she decided to insert herself into the story. She reactivated the puzzle. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. And so... Also, she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. Also, she would, you would think she was a great person. That she is not. And now it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alpha is waiting outside this room. During our battle, she would interrupt. She would pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the hero of your adventure. She'll regard, you'll regard her so highly, she will be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? And what's a good show? Without a plot twist. Hey! What's going on? The door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The old program's been cancelled. But we've got a finale that will drive you wild. Oh, no. Real drama. Real action. Real bloodshed. Our new show, Attack the Killer Robot. Burn? Oh. Intriguing. Burn. This is the problem you'll... This is probably what you'll do if things continue to matter. Hmm. Oh, you son of a gun. Intriguing. Huh. Okay, this is kind of easy. I don't want to say that because I feel like I feel like it'll get hard if I actually believe that it's easy. So let's just um kind of give up. My phone's ringing. Uh, I can't see what's going on in there, but don't give up, okay? There's one last way to be Metaton. It's um it's this is a work in progress, so don't judge too hard. But you know how Metaton is always facing forward. That's because there's a switch on his backside. So if you can turn him around, um. And uh, press that switch. He'll be able to. Uh, he'll be able to be vulnerable. We well, gotta go. Turn. Oh, a mirror. Right. I have to look perfect for our grand finale. Uh, I don't see it. Where is it? Switch. Whatcha? Did you just flip my switch? Yes, I did. Problem. Oh yes. What? <laughs> What just happened? I'm so confused. Oh my. If you flip my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments... Absolutely beautiful. What? Um... Dun, dun, dun. How do I? Oh, oh, oh! Shoot! Oh, sh I'm gonna die. I did not understand how this battle was gonna work. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Not what I wanted. Not gonna lie. Not what I wanted. Um. 
guess we're cutting the video. Again. doing that. Oh, shoot. Um, sticky keys. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. If I do well this fight, I actually won't cut anything out on the line. Getting the hang of this. Okay, I still messed up. Oh no, don't attack. Bad. Break time. We're getting a good rating. I don't know if that's part of beating him or not, but whatever. Hmm. Got it. Who needs hearts with legs like these? Fudge, 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 fudge. Oh god, this is what killed me last time. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. You're funny. Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh my god! Oh! Ha! Ha! Ooh! Hot! Hot! Hot fire! 
hot fire. Hot fire. Barking dogs in the background. Too much, too much, too much hot fire. Too much hot fire. I'm sorry, dude, but your freaking mixtape is gorgeous. Um, do we eat the unicycle now? I don't know. We're out of healing. <laughs> We're out of healing now. Fuck me. Oh my god, I'm bad. I'm not gonna die. I messed that up so bad. Are we good? Oh my god, with three health, are we good? Please tell me we're good. I only have three health. I only have three health. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, everyone's just calling about how much they love Metaton, and if he kills me, his show will be over. I like this. I like where this is going. <laughs> I don't like having three health and no healing, but... Whatever. Huh. Well, inefficient in a few moments, I'll run out of battery power, and, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. Sorry for the background noise, I'm just gonna try to keep talking. And, uh, you've been a great audience. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for draining me of every form of healing I ever had. <sighs> I managed to open the lock, are you two? Oh my god. Metaton, are you? Oh, her creation is kind of over now. Thank god, it's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you messed up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? Wait, but... Okay, I can't go backwards. I was gonna go back to Snowden, not gonna lie, and try to buy more healing. I really need healing. I'm at 3 health right now. I really need healing. <laughs> I really need healing. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to cut that battle out, because I like keeping the full battle where I beat the person in. So, you know, you'll just see a little bit longer of the fight. I mean, maybe I'll cut it out. I don't know. Wait. I mean, um, I was just gonna to, going to say goodbye, and I can't take this anymore. I, I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. But I can't. I'm playing pacifist mode. What? No. I'm sorry. How am I supposed to do this? If I'm playing a pacifist mode, how am I supposed to kill Asgore? And how am I supposed to win the game? How am I supposed to win game? Question mark. How? Oh my gosh. I, I will forever apologize about background noise. It really sucks having to live with five other people in a house. Then again, when I go to college, it's not going to get any better because I'll be in a dorm room with background noise probably worse than what I have right now. Alright, my health is full. I have no healing. At all. What is this direction? Is there anything this direction? Is this a nether... Ne nether, yes. A never-ending path? No, it's not. What is up here? 
Oh, oh, I, okay, hold up, hold up. We're going to go, that was the elevator back down to Hotlands, which I can go with that, buy more bicycles. I'll be back. Cutting video. <laughs> when you legitimately cut the video, and the elevator is not in use, <laughs> meaning I really cut the video for no reason at all. Alright, new home. This, wait, what? Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. It's a twin-sized bed. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Um, sure. Heart-shaped locket. I'm assuming these are the two keys to the padlocks. Worn dagger. Nah. Not gonna take the dagger. Room under renovations. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. I'm confused. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus elf inside. I don't know what I feel right now. Like, I don't know how to feel. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the case castle. I only have one key. I don't know where the other key is, I'm not gonna lie. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found the bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams ran out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But, Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. This makes me really sad, and I'm really glad I played in Pacifism now.
The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. Enough souls to shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will save us. Let us go, give us hope. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. What's this? Ah, I see. I see. Hmm. Well, how long have we been recording? Because this seems, in my opinion, like a great opportunity to leave on a cliffhanger, but you all, you all are in luck. Sorry, I cannot enunciate properly. We have not been recording that long. Therefore, we must continue with our journey. Hello, Sans. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. Now you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's ca capability to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive, just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardship you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone, even when you ran away. You did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped on the ground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you chew what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright? We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Well, I'm kind of glad I went past this mode, because I'm a little worried what would have happened if I had gained any EXP in this game. throne room. What's down here? I like to explore. Sorry for the bothersome of you, but I mean, that's just me. What is this? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Ender. It's empty. Oh, are those all the humans they've killed to break the barrier? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Intriguing. Okay. Well, I'm a little, little scared. Not gonna lie. I think we're gonna end this episode with the fight against Asgore or something else. I don't know. Depends on how long this takes me. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. That kind of looks like Toriel's husband, if she has one. Am I catching on to something? Howdy, how can I... Oh. Whoa. 
I so badly want to say. I thought the game was lagging because of the music. I so badly want to say. Would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Oh, is he gonna talk about his son? Oh, is he gonna use his son to justify killing me? You know what we must do when you are ready. Come into the next room. I mean, it's not like I can go back in the game and get healing easily. So, obtaining healing now is basically impossible. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Yeah, where the dentist is trying to kill me. Are you ready? If you are. If you're not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Oh man. Oh man. I'm not ready. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I can't go back and get healing. Like, it's physically impossible, to the best of my knowledge. Alright, ready? Oh, I don't like that. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, no. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. I'm gonna die. I'm just going to call it right now. I am going to stop the recording and probably not commentate any of my attempts at this fight because it's going to take me the most out of any boss fight yet this game. Therefore, what you're going to be cutting into, video-wise, is the full gameplay of me beating him with probably no commentating. Are you ready? I'm not. Let's go. Alright, we back. Let's talk to Asgore. I have a new plan, a new strategy, as I have recently learned that you actually cannot beat this man without attacking him. Meaning, for the first time in this game, we have to attack someone, which I think is crazy. So we keep talking to him until we lower his defense and attack. The plan. Hopefully I can successfully do such, and I'm garbage at this game. Alright. Recollection. Flashes in his eyes, Asgore's attack drops and his defense drops. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fudge me. Alright. Now with his attack and defense dropped, we can eat the legendary hero, which restores our health and increases our attack by four. Beautiful. And now we can start attacking him with our tough glove, because if I did not have enough money to buy either the empty gun or uh, I, didn't buy, I didn't pick up the dagger at his house like an idiot because I didn't think I would need it. So we're going to have to do this the hard way with a crappy weapon compared to what I could have done it with. How did I mess that one up? I genuinely don't know how I did that. Whatever, let's just take this slow and steady. We have a lot of healing. Okay. 
này Awesome Yeah, I think it's kind of odd that we can't beat him in full pacifist When we've been doing that the whole game so far, really I don't know, just my opinion I messed that up Slowly ticking away to tell. Awesome. Those ones are kind of easy. Oh, I still mess them up. Just like all of his attacks, I mess it up every once in a while. This one's, in my opinion, the hardest. I've never flawless this. Threading the needle right there. Awesome. No, oh, I keep forgetting to spam Z. Just barely hanging on. Oh no. More health of dream? Let's go. Oh, we're gonna die here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Let's not play with death. Beautiful. Attack Asgore. Oh, I keep forgetting to attack Asgore. Somehow didn't lose health there, I don't think. We might have. I don't know. I was really try try harding. Ha! Huh. How? How do you expect me to get that? Oh, okay, we can we can go one more attack without healing. Oh wow. Okay. <sighs> so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become a godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule with the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with me. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want the, to hurt anyone. I just want everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. I can't. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you and 
as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. What? 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 No, 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 no. No, where? No! No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, no. No. What?